I did chicken Savoy. I got rid of most of the juice. And this one, I did it into chunks. I think the chunks are going to work out a lot better. I think my chickens have always going to look a lot better than Stretch's. Sorry, Stretch. This is the way I like to cook it. I know you invented it. I was told you got to put the red wine. All right, that looks good. Actually, you know something? Put a couple more pieces. Red wine and the balsamic. If you see any uh, chickens of oil recipe that doesn't have balsamic vinegar, not. This is like ambrosia to me. This is like the, one of the best things out there. Anyone that's looking for chicken savoy on the internet, you got to go to the Belmont Tavern. The recipes that are online are all garbage. Stretch, thank you for inventing this. This is, to me, is one of the greatest inventions out there. All right, what, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on high, cook it two minutes on each side. You're done. Stretch, this is a little different. When you invented this, this technology right here did not exist. There is no oil in this. This is plain balsamic vinegar, not even top grade. I think I got two bottles for $5 a piece. Do we have any more left? Look at my YouTube. I got two of these for $5 a piece. How could I go wrong? It's not the best, but it's good enough. Chicken pieces, I cut them up into chunks. If you ever look at chickens of oil, they take large pieces of chicken and cut them down into small pieces and then put the herbs. The only thing that's missing on this, he likes to put the thyme. I'm not a big fan of thyme. Sorry. Stretch, don't like it. So I got a little ground oregano. I'm going to put a little bit of ground oregano. When this is done, and I do one side and flip everything, I'll show you. That looks nice. All right. We're going to hit pause. Give it two minutes on one side. And then show you what it looks like. All right, I've been cooking these more than five minutes, and look at what it looks like. All the juice was bubbling away. All right, this is not Stretch's Kitchen. This isn't like Lydia's. This isn't Rachel Ray. See these? Bam. Bring it over to the sink. Drain the juice. Get all that juice out. The funny thing is, how long has Stretch been cooking this? He's going to keep doing chickens and boy the way he does it. But if you go to Stretch's house, he's going to be doing it the way I do it. There's the pan. Flipped it upside down. Here we go. Now what I'm going to do right now, is I'm going to put a little Parmesan Romano in the bottom of the pan. You want to get that nice and toasty. Stretch, I know how you do it. I already put a video up. Okay. And then, ah, top. We want to put everything face down. See this batch right here? That's the second batch. Oh man, that one's going to be so much better than this. All right, because I have the red pen, I can do this. There's more than 7 billion people on the planet. No one has ever done this before, eaten this before. Stretch. Try it my way. Frank Sinatra would have loved this. I know Frank came to visit you. Come on, you invented Chicken Savoy. This is like one of the greatest chicken dishes out there. There we go. I separated them all. They're very hot. This is burning the living out of my fingers. Ow. All right, I'm gonna put it back on top of the oven. This time I'm only gonna do it for two minutes. My five minute garbage video here is about to end. I'm at 447 and I have to start a new one. I'm gonna do a quick coating of Parmesan Romano. I love you. This is fabulous. And there Damn, 
here it comes. There you go. Stretch. I'm going to put this online. I don't want a like. The only like I want is from you. You try this. Guess what? I want to thank you for giving my father, Mike Bono, the recipe for this. Just so I can improve it. This is how I will eat this for the rest of my life. The cheese, I would not have done the cheese. I would not have done the oregano. The time I'm definitely not doing. I do not need oil. You got balsamic. You got... Let's just say pepper and you can never put enough garlic in this. This round right here, this is round two. Look how much garlic is in here. This is going in there and I'm starting a new video. Oh, look at this. Look how it sticks to this. I like the idea of this hard cheese. Dr. Oz would have loved you. Sorry I hit the camera. There we go. I'm trying to get it all off. Olive oil. Guess what? You don't need oil in here. Actually, I could have, and guess what? That wouldn't be there. That, But it doesn't matter. I put this pan in the sink and like a little water, some thyme, and I lightly rub it. It goes away. Lots of things in life people want to go away. This is one of them. There you go. Look at that. Stretch. Come on. Why restaurants aren't using this? This pan was free and I tried to destroy it. Ready? Hold on. Stretch. This is better than you make. You eat one piece of this. Guess what? You have aliens coming to your restaurant to eat your, your food that you invented because you invented something that's so delicious. Sorry I called you aliens, the Pleiadians, but you get mobsters, famous people. Guess what? You invent something that's that good, people come and they keep coming. I want to thank you for letting my father in whenever he came there, even if there was a line. I know you have reservations. But once again, I thank you. Here comes round two. Damn, look at that. That is phenomenal. Stretch. All I want is one thumbs up from you. That you like my... S-H blah. Better than what you make it. I'm an inventor. You invented. I'd give you a thousand thumbs up. Because I've eaten it. My father's made it for me. I love it. Alright, here we go. Round two. I gotta stop it because I'm already at three minutes. I only get five minutes on a S5 junk phone. Oh yeah. I just spent money on a DJI gimbal. This phone right here. V20, everyone should have one. LG, thank you. We bring good things to life. You stole my invention, but it's okay. Everybody did. Been doing it since like 1972. All right. Pause. No, stop. 